Are you stumped when it comes to painting brass? Well, by the end of this video, you will know how to paint brass easy with my five-step formula in under 10 minutes. For the best painting advice, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for new painting video instruction that I post every Tuesday. I'm Kelly Folsom and I'm a professional fine artist and I've also helped hundreds of other artists improve their still life painting skills rapidly on my website Art Life with Kelly. So let's dive in and get started on learning how to paint brass with five easy steps. I The background color right now is just ivory black and white and I've got my drawing started for the brass so we can get right into how to paint brass. So we're gonna start first with the letter B, and letter B stands for uh, brass color. So the color that I use most of the time for brass is burnt umber and cadmium yellows. Brass is in the yellow family, and this is my secret color mixture here, or not secret now. <laughs> Most people don't think to use burnt umber because it is a red umber, but it actually makes a really beautiful, um, warm, olivey, greenish color, which is a great foundation for brass color. So I'm just gonna put this all over here where my brass is, and and it doesn't have to be you know the exact mi mixture all over but you wanna identify what is the basic local color of that object that you're painting and um, look at your palette and see which colors you could put together to make brass color. And I think burnt umber uh, and cad yellow, making this sort of olivey green is a great place to start for a brass color. Okay, so next, is the letter R and that stands for reflections. So reflection, brass is so reflective, metal is so reflective, and it's going to pick up any um, other colors that are in the arrangement. So let's say for example that the tabletop plane is like this wood shelf, which it is. I'm using Marigé here. I'll list my um, supplies down below for you. So I'm using a, a transparent red oxide or Avignon orange, some Chinese orange, which is transparent color, and some white here to get sort of a tabletop color. And I'm gonna add some burnt umber with that uh, Avignon orange for cast shadow color on the tabletop plane. We don't wanna forget about our cast shadows. And so basically, um, because the brass is so reflective, I'm gonna add a little more cadmium yellow into this mixture to get some of these reflections up into the underplane of the brass. And then, for example, background color, black and white, I'm gonna kinda of add that in with my brass color and get some of that, uh, some of that as reflections in the uh, shadow side and also we can put some over here as well so basically you know I mean this works better if you have other you know brilliant colors in the uh, setup uh, maybe if you have like a bright lemon or something next to the brass or a bright colored fruit that would uh, show off a little more stronger reflection but basically you want to look for any reflections that are showing up so next I wanna add, um, add any textures or accents that are seen there, and that includes one accent is a really strong highlight for brass. And metal highlight, no matter what the temperature of your light source is, always has some of whatever the base local color is, so in this case some yellow. And with metal, you ha always have just a really strong highlight um, because it's so reflective. And actually the highlight tends to make us think, so I'm gonna use some Cad Lemon, some Naples Yellow and some White here. 
uh, the highlight tends to make us think that the brass is actually lighter than it is because the highlight is so intense. So automatically, just getting that highlight on starts to turn it into looking like brass. Um, and then you want to add any texture. Is there any texture on that particular brass? You know, sometimes, sometimes you've got a smooth brass, sometimes you've got a hammered brass like this one. And so I like to use my palette knife to get that kind of texture started. And then I can smooth some of this out with a, a brush as I work the painting. But you really do want to try to get whatever that, um, if there's any texture, either with brush strokes or break out your palette knife like this and get some uh, texture. And maybe there's some accent colors that you're seeing, like I'm seeing little touches of red. So I'm adding in a little more red. And don't worry about getting your highlight too gloppy in the beginning. You can always kind of tone it down or calm it down later on. Okay, so next is shadows, S. S, first S for shadow. You wanna make sure you have a shadow shape that describes the form. And shadows are always darker in value. And so, and you can also do this first. I'm just going by the acronym here. So I'm gonna use the black, the Avignon orange, and the Chinese orange just to get a nice, rich, deep shadow. I don't want to cover up all of my reflection there. If that's a little too red, I might throw in some burnt umber again. I could use a brush on the side to get a finer line, but the shape should describe the form. And in this case, my light source is on the left and about uh, two thirds of the form is in light and a third in shadow and then a little bit of shadow underneath here to curve with the belly. Okay. And then we also have shadow, form shadow on the neck here of this object and underneath the top lip. And really getting in those shadows um, really starts to give form and structure and also tells us the direction of the light source, which is very important. And then if you're seeing any little bit of shadow on the inside of the ellipse here on the left, since my light's on the left, on the left, the highlight will be cupping on the right. And then um, the last thing is getting shimmer. So at this point, we've got the look of brass and it would just be fine tuning it to, to get a little more sense of shimmer in this uh, brass. So what I like to think about when I'm looking for shimmer is how can the lights connect? So we've got a really bold highlight here and then we've got shadow all the way on the right hand side. How can I look for the path of light or sort of that shimmering effect that metal so often has? And this is gonna kind of tone down. Let's add some black, get kind of a greenish tint here with my cadmiums black and white. Um, and this is gonna bring a little more nuance to the modeling of the light and the form. And I wanna kinda of curve my strokes with the curve of the form here. And then shimmer, you know, thinking about what is the part of the form uh, that's getting the most light and then how does that form turn under or uh, turn around in space. And so I'll just build up, it's not quite as strong as the highlight, but just building up a little more path of light, like a little path of light here to get that sense of shimmer. And then there is a little bit of highlight on the back edge of this as well. Now, if I need to go a little bit, you know, get one stronger hit of light, you know, painting wet into wet a la prima, sometimes uh, all the paint levels start to level out. And you always want that highlight to have like the strongest impasto and strongest light on it. You know, if I wanna come in here and restate or make any of my reflections even stronger or um, 
you know, also you can allow shimmering light to come out onto the tabletop plane as well. So let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway was from this lesson. And now that you know how to paint brass, what about other metals? I've put together a metals video package that teaches you how to paint brass, copper, and silver. Check the link in the description below for that. And if you like this video, I invite you to join my online membership program, Vital Art Sessions. This is a supportive community of artists who are learning to paint better with my monthly 30 minute video lessons on all still life topics. Check the link below for that as well. If you like this video, hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe and share this video with your art friends. Let's make the world a more beautiful place together. Happy painting. Bye.